And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge, this time a 250 point reverse engineering challenge called Vault Door 4. This vault uses ASCII encoding for the password, and here is the source file. So we download this guy and we take a look. And since this is like the other vaults that we've looked at, this section of code is identical. It just gets some user input, and then it wants to do a check password. And when we look at the check password, we're taking the password as a variable, as a parameter, then we're getting a byte array, so the byte representation of the string. We call that pass bytes. And we have my bytes, which is predefined, this guy. And then we're looping over both of these guys, checking each element. So for example, the first, the second, the third, the fourth of each. And if they are not equal at any point, then we return false. And if we return false, we get an access denied error. So we need to know what this guy is right here. And first, let's talk about what ASCII is. ASCII is a way for computers to represent uh, values and uh, things like A, capital A. A computer doesn't know what capital A is. A computer just sees binary, it sees ones and zeros. Ones and zeros, when grouped together, can form large numbers. And those numbers have a meaning in decimal, hexadecimal, octal, in these different um, number systems. So for example, capital A is 65 in decimal, it's 41 in hexadecimal, and it's 101 in octal. So if we go back to our original guy over here, let's do one of these by hand. So 106 in decimal is which ASCII character? That is J. And 85, U. Okay, I'm already tired of doing this. Let's do one hexadecimal though. 55, what is 55? And then we'll automate this and make it much better. Uh, hex 55 is you. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to create uh, doorcracker.java and we're going to work in this guy to figure out what those all are. So we're going to grab our byte array and uh, it's important to understand the byte array that is just eight bits each where a bit is a zero or one. So uh, a bit equals either zero or one. This is going to complain if I don't comment it out. And a byte is equal to eight bits. So we have a bunch of these eight bits. And the thing is, the computer, it, it sees that just as a byte currently. What we want is for it to see it instead as uh, an ASCII character. So we want it to look at the byte and see instead a char, a, a character. And so what we're going to do is we're going to loop over each byte. So for each byte in my bytes, Let's actually, let's call this, I'm uh, going to re, it's not allowing me to refactor, sorry. I'm gonna change this name. I don't like this name very much. I, I like, well, <laughs> okay. We'll do this manually. I, I can't figure out how to make VS Code do it. Let's call it password bytes. For each of those bytes, we wanna figure out what it is. So we were gonna start building up a password and it's gonna be a string and remember how we said this was just about how you interpret a character. You can look at it as a number, so 96, or you can look at it as this accent character. So we want to tell the computer, first, I want you to think of this guy B as a char. And I want you to add whatever that is into my password string. And then we are going to print out that password and see what we get. And Let's go ahead and do that. So we will run this. And we can see just a bunch of bytes. So let's try that in our uh, submission form, pico ctf, just a bunch of bytes. Let's submit it. Hooray, we solved it. Hopefully that was helpful and made some sense to you. If it was, please like, subscribe, or comment. It helps me out a lot. Thanks, bye.